And then to the right here is this little room that I haven't showed you guys yet. We have some uh, equipment hooks here on the wall. This one says, this piece of paper says valve chest. Back here, a few more artifacts. And this actually is a tunnel that connects to that previous junction we found. Coming out of here, we get a nice view of the winds station here. And uh, let me just get one more shot looking up there. Yep. All right, so I think we've fully documented this area. We're gonna head on down this way toward that third ore chute. All right, continuing onward. Wow, another ore chute. Who would have thought? Very uh, extensively timbered ore chute here, just like the others. This one's also plugged with debris. Don't really want to mess with that. You can see there must be a lot of weight in that ore chute because it is, uh, I mean, that timber is cracked. So there's a lot of weight up there in this plugged ore chute. Um, let's see what we got here. We have a tunnel off that way. I believe that's the left branch from a while back. And here is more ore chutes down a drift. Nothing there. Let's take a look down here. Oh yeah, ore chute after ore chute after ore chute down there. This ore chute here, plugged with some massive rocks. And uh, more of the same. Ore chutes, ore chutes, ore chutes. That one is on its last leg. Does not look good there. We have a pretty substantial collapse here. And uh, just found the reason for all these ore chutes. If we look up here, there is a absolutely enormous stope. Wow. This is looking up into the massive, I know you guys love that word, stope. Huge, huge stope. Uh, I'll shine the laser up there, see how high it goes, but uh, giant, giant stope. This is what's feeding all these ore chutes here. And it's cool that this collapsed actually, because Otherwise, I probably wouldn't be able to get a view of this stope. There's the, one of the chutes right there. Just needed that little extra support. Another chute here. These are all just fed by this huge stope. Coming down from that debris pile, you have a dead end tunnel off that direction and another series of ore chutes off there. And then something off to the left as well. I think this is the same, that same tunnel that we keep intersecting. I almost guarantee it is. And you can barely notice here, but there's three bats. Make that four bats. Uh, hibernating in here. I almost didn't notice them, but 
As much as I like bats, they're really annoying when they fly around, so I'm going to try not to disturb them. <laughs> Continuing onward, yet another ore chute, plugged with debris, timbering above us, right behind this timbering is the uh, stope that goes way up there, and another ore chute, wow, look at that. There's a strong breeze flowing out of this uh, ore chute, so I presume that the uh, stope we saw connects with the surface, so uh, creating, you know, creating airflow to the mine. Um, anyways, continue onward here. This does not look good. False floor here. Um, and a hole, a really small hole that goes down as far as I can see. This might be a, a stope of some sort that has, they accidentally breached this tunnel. Not, not, not entirely sure. But uh, looking ahead here, you can see more extensive stoping stalls holding things together. It's really impressive workings. Looking up here, we have another stope. This one's much smaller than the other one, but it's still quite large by my standards. Um, a couple ore sheets there. Dope again. I think the most interesting thing back here is you can see a really beautiful quartz vein that they were digging out there. That's like four or five feet wide. Um, you can see it's oxidizing on the edges and in the middle it's white quartz. They have all these stulls in here of course. And these ore chutes uh, don't look like uh, they could be used anymore <laughs> because uh, they're kind of just, uh, I don't know, there's no, uh, there's no chute going up. <laughs> um, yeah, that's the last ore chute as far as we know. And then continuing onward, we're going to go ahead and call it here. But uh, up ahead is a another deep winds that covers the entire tunnel and in my opinion it's, it's uh, more dangerous than the one we just crossed so we're gonna stop here um, and the other thing to mention is the air is really warm back here and usually that's a sign that you're nearing the end of the of the mine so we're gonna assume that that's the end there and uh, head back out Notice on the ground here is this big box, and I really can't read anything that that says. Maybe it'll look better on the camera, but I think that IR logo there is probably Ingersoll Rand. So maybe I don't know. This, uh, this probably contains some sort of machinery equipment at one point. Alright, that's where we came from. The main tunnel is just around this little corner. And off this way, see some timbers at first glance. And here we have another ore chute and a stope that continues downwards. Well, these timbers look brand new. Um, they have some platforms of stalls 
a ladder on the far end there. <coughs> Another chute. I think there's two chutes. Um, it kind of looks like the tunnel picks up, but uh, there's no way across this. And uh, it actually doesn't go down that far. But um, yeah, no way across. And that's uh, one of these chutes here. It's extensively timbered, just like the rest of them in this mine. Pretty cool. All right, we are heading up another tunnel here. There's a lot of debris on the ground. Make my way over this. Hope there's not winds underneath me. All right. We have multiple tunnels. It's a dead end. That one goes forward. That one's a dead end. Look down here. And that's the other side of that stope we saw. That makes sense. So it does connect. Yep. So there's a backfill. Yep. So over there is the other side of that stope. Dead end. Just gonna look at this really quickly. Um, you see that ladder we saw from the other side? It would be kind of interesting to get Jake on the other side. And Get a shot of that, but uh, yeah, that's looking back toward where we just were, and I have a feeling that I'm standing on somewhat of a false floor because there's this void going down there. You can see that or the or shoot support is actually suspended in midair for this big orge, big or shoot. Um, that's about it for this one. Alright, now we're coming back out of this little elevated branching tunnel. Just a lot of debris in this little tunnel here. Um, those are those dead ends. And we're going to make our way back out to the main haulage tunnel, which is that way. All right, so we're working our way back out, and the last tunnel we have to explore is this left-hand tunnel that bends off there. This is the one with the, the little ore cart track switcher. So we'll take this one and uh, see what's down here. There's a bat. Bat. Bat alert. Whoa. This one just goes and goes. Bring up ahead. Cans. And here we go again. Two ore shoots coming down. Everything above me is completely timbered. You can tell because the echo has gone away. That one's cracked. This one is under a huge amount of load. You can see the entire thing is bent. 
pass by that. And uh, this entire area is uh, timbered. I'm guessing there's a, a stope up above us. But the main tunnel goes that way. So we'll follow it. <laughs> 